For the past two weeks, I've been in the process of redesigning and rebuilding the control panel for my Centroid Acorn system to improve its performance to control the DMM Technologies X, Y, and Z servo motors on my mill, as well as adding electronics to control a new servo motor for the spindle drive. In the process of updating my mill CNC system, I came up with a design for a cover plate to protect the connectors on the ends of cables where the cables from the servo drivers mate to the cables on the servo motors. In the past, I had just covered these connectors with a thin vinyl strip, which is duct taped in place, but I felt a better covering system would be, could be developed. It's important to protect these connectors so that they do not get physically damaged, get shorted out with any shavings or filings, and also to protect them from flood coolant. This is the finished cover plate which I developed, which will be described in this video. I recently added a bamboo 3D printer to my shop. Therefore, I used the Fusion 360 system to design a two-piece cover case to protect these cable connectors. Shown here is the base of the case, which consists of a box five inches long by one and a quarter inches wide. On the two ends are rounded out slots to clamp onto the ends of the two cables. The top plate has some opposing protrusions to clamp the wire from the opposite side. This cover is then held in place with four screws. This case fits snugly around the cable to protect the cable connectors to minimize the chance of contamination of the connectors from chips and flood coolant. This two-piece assembly was designed in the Fusion 360 software and then printed out using the 3D print function in Fusion 360. The 3D print file was then transferred to the Bamboo 3D printer to print out the two-piece case. Here are the two components of the cable case ready to print using the Bamboo 3D printer. The file is then sent to the Bamboo 3D printer from the software and the printing process started. I'm using white PLA basic plastic material for these cases. The total time to produce each two-piece case is about 60 minutes. Here's an actual picture of the Bamboo 3D printer in the process of printing the two plates. And here's a video of the final steps in printing the two-piece cable connector case taken using the video camera inside the Bamboo 3D printer case. Here's the actual plastic case after it was 3D printed. It consists of two parts, a bottom case and a top cover plate. The four screw holes in the bottom or larger plate are hand tapped using a number 632 tap. The two parts are then clamped together and held together with four number six pan head screws. To install the cables and connectors, just slip them to the bottom case, then attach the top cover plate and add the four screws to hold the top cover plate in place. And this completes the installation of the first or x-axis cable connector case. In a likewise manner I install cases on both the y-axis cables and also on the z-axis cables. This completes this short video on the production of the two-piece cable connector cases for the DMM Technology servo motors. If you have a mill or lathe using the DMM Technology servo motors and you have access to a 3D printer, I can supply you with the STL files for these cases. Just send me an email and I will forward the files back to you at no charge. If you don't have access to a 3D printer, these cases are available from AccuSlice as described in the description section of this video. And once again, thank you for watching this video.